The recorded history of the Caribbean island of Grenada begins in the early 17th century. First settled by indigenous peoples, by the time of European contact it was inhabited by the Caribs. French colonists drove most of the Caribs off the island and established plantations on the island, eventually importing African slaves to work on the sugar plantations. Control of the island was disputed by Great Britain and France in the 18th century, with the British ultimately prevailing. In 1795, Faden's rebellion, inspired by the Haitian Revolution, very nearly succeeded, and was crushed with significant military intervention. Slavery was abolished in the 1830s. In 1885, the island became the capital of the British Windward Islands. Grenada achieved independence from Britain in 1974. Following a coup by the Marxist New Jewel movement in 1983, the island was invaded by United States troops and the government overthrown. The island's major crop, nutmeg, was significantly damaged by Hurricane Ivan in 2004. <inaudible> Early history About two million years ago, Grenada was formed as an underwater volcano. Before the arrival of Europeans, Grenada was inhabited by Arawaks and, subsequently, Caribs. Christopher Columbus sighted Grenada in 1498 during his third voyage to the New World. He named the island, Concepcion. The origin of the name, Grenada, is obscure, but it is likely that Spanish sailors renamed the island for the city of Grenada. By the beginning of the 18th century, the name, Grenada, or La Grenade, in French, was in common use. Partly because of the Caribs, Grenada remained uncolonized for more than 100 years after being sighted by Columbus. 17th century English attempted settlement In June 1609, the first attempt at settlement by Europeans was made by an English expedition of 24 colonizers led by Mossy's Goldfree, Hall, Lull, and Robincon, who arrived in the ships Diana, the Penelope, and the Endeavour. The settlement was attacked and destroyed by the indigenous islanders and many tortured and killed. The few survivors were evacuated when the ships returned on 15 December 1609. French settlement and conquest On 17 March 1649, a French expedition of 203 men from Martinique, led by Jacques Dial du Parquet who had been the governor of Martinique on behalf of the Compagnie des Isles de l'Amérique since 1637, landed at St. Georges Harbour and constructed a fortified settlement, which they named Fort Annunciation. A treaty was swiftly agreed between Du Parquet and the indigenous chief Kairouane to peacefully partition the island between the two communities. Du Parquet returned to Martinique leaving his cousin Jean Le Comte as governor of Grenada. Conflict broke out between the French and the indigenous islanders in November 1649 and fighting lasted for five years until 1654, when the last opposition to the French on Grenada was crushed. Rather than surrender, Kairouane and his followers chose to throw themselves off a cliff, a fact celebrated in the poetry of Jan Carew. The island continued for some time after to suffer raids by war canoe parties from St. Vincent, whose inhabitants had aided the local Grenadian islanders in their struggle and continued to oppose the French. <inaudible> <inaudible> French administration On 27 September 1650, Du Parquet bought Grenada, Martinique, and Saint Lucia from the Compagnie des Isles de l'Amérique, which was dissolved, for the equivalent of £1,160. In 1657 Du Parquet sold Grenada to the Comte de Serillac for the equivalent of £1,890. In 1664, King Louis XIV bought out the independent island owners and established the French West India Company. In 1674 the French West India Company was dissolved. Proprietary rule ended in Grenada, which became a French colony as a dependency of Martinique. In 1675, Dutch privateers captured Grenada, but a French man-of-war arrived unexpectedly and recaptured the island. 18th century French colony 
In 1700, Grenada had a population of 257 whites, 53 cholerids, and 525 slaves. There were three sugar estates, 52 indigo plantations, 64 horses, and 569 head of cattle. Between 1705 and 1710 the French built Fort Royal at St. George's which is now known as Fort George. The collapse of the sugar estates and the introduction of cocoa and coffee in 1714 encouraged the development of smaller land holdings, and the island developed a land-owning yeoman farmer class. In 1738 the first hospital was constructed. <laughs> <laughs> British colony Grenada was captured by the British during the Seven Years' War on 4 March 1762 by Commodore Swanton without a shot being fired. Grenada was formally ceded to Britain by the Treaty of Paris on 10 February 1763. In 1766 the island was rocked by a severe earthquake. In 1767 a slave uprising was put down. In 1771 and again in 1775, the town of St. George, which was constructed solely of wood, was burnt to the ground, after which it was sensibly rebuilt using stone and brick. France recaptured Grenada between 2 to 4 July 1779 during the American War of Independence, after Comte d'Estaing stormed Hospital Hill. A British relief force was defeated in the naval battle of Grenada on 6 July 1779. However the island was restored to Britain with the Treaty of Versailles four years later on 3 September 1783. In 1784 the first newspaper, the Granada Chronicle, began publication. Phaedon's <laughs> Rebellion Julian Faden, a mixed-race owner of the Belvedere estate in the St. John Parish, launched a rebellion against British rule on the night of 2 March 1795, with coordinated attacks on the towns of Grenville, La Bay and Goyave. Faden was clearly influenced by the ideas emerging from the French Revolution, especially the Convention's abolition of slavery in 1794. He stated that he intended to make Grenada a black republic just like Haiti. Faden and his troops controlled all of Grenada except the parish of St. George's, the seat of government, between March 1795 and June 1796. During those insurgent months 14,000 of Grenada's 28,000 slaves joined the revolutionary forces in order to write their own emancipation and transform themselves into «citizens». Some 7,000 of these self-liberated slaves would perish in the name of freedom. The British defeated Faden's forces in late 1796, but they never caught Faden himself, and his fate is unknown. 19th century <laughs> Early 19th century In 1833, Grenada became part of the British Windward Islands administration and remained so until 1958. Slavery was abolished in 1834. Nutmeg was introduced in 1843, when a merchant ship called in on its way to England from the East Indies. <laughs> Late 19th century In 1857, the first East Indian immigrants arrived. In 1871 Grenada was connected to the telegraph. In 1872 the first secondary school was built. On 3 December 1877 the Pure Crown Colony model replaced Grenada's old representative system of government. On 3 December 1882, the largest wooden jetty ever built in Grenada was opened in Guyave. In 1885, after Barbados left the British Windward Islands, the capital of the Colonial Confederation was moved from Bridgetown to St. George on Grenada. From 1889 to 1894 the 340-foot Sendal Tunnel was built for horse carriages. Topic. Last colonial years 1900–1974 Early 20th century The 1901 census showed that the population of the colony was 63,438. In 1917 Theophilus A. Mary Show founded the Representative Government Association RGA to agitate for a new and participative constitutional dispensation for the Grenadian people. 
Partly as a result of Marichaux's lobbying the Wood Commission of 1921–1922 concluded that Grenada was ready for constitutional reform in the form of a modified Crown Colony government. This modification granted Grenadians from 1925 the right to elect five of the fifteen members of the Legislative Council, on a restricted property franchise enabling the wealthiest 4% of Grenadian adults to vote. In 1928 electricity was installed in St. George's. In 1943 Pearls Airport was opened. On 5 August 1944 the Island Queen schooner disappeared with the loss of all 56 passengers and 11 crew. Towards independence, 1950–1974 In 1950, Grenada had its constitution amended to increase the number of elected seats on the Legislative Council from 5 to 8, to be elected by full adult franchise at the 1951 election. In 1950 Eric Gary founded the Grenada United Labour Party, initially as a trade union, which led the 1951 general strike for better working conditions. This sparked great unrest, so many buildings were set ablaze that the disturbances became known as the Red Sky Days, and the British authorities had to call in military reinforcements to help regain control of the situation. On 10 October 1951 Grenada held its first general elections on the basis of universal adult suffrage. United Labour won six of the eight elected seats on the Legislative Council in both the 1951 and 1954 elections. However the Legislative Council had few powers at this time, with government remaining fully in the hands of the colonial authorities. On the 22nd of September 1955, Hurricane Janet hit Grenada, killing 500 people and destroying 75% of the nutmeg trees. A new political party, the Grenada National Party led by Herbert Blaise, contested the 1957 general election and with the cooperation of elected independent members took control of the Legislative Council from the Grenada United Labour Party. In 1958, the Windward Islands administration was dissolved, and Grenada joined the Federation of the West Indies. In 1960, another constitutional evolution established the post of chief minister, making the leader of the majority party in the Legislative Council, which at that time was Herbert Blaise, effective head of government. In March 1961 the Grenada United Labour Party won the general election and George E. D. Klein became chief minister until Eric Gary was elected in a by-election and took the role in August 1961. Also in 1961 the cruise liner MV Bianca C sank off Point Salines, although thankfully there was only a single fatality. In April 1962 Grenada's administrator, the Queen's representative on the island, James Lloyd suspended the constitution, dissolved the Legislative Council, and removed Eric Gary as chief minister, following allegations concerning the Gary's financial impropriety. At the 1962 general election the Grenada National Party won a majority and Herbert Blaise became chief minister for the second time. After the Federation of the West Indies collapsed in 1962, the British government tried to form a small federation out of its remaining dependencies in the Eastern Caribbean. Following the failure of this second effort, the British and the islanders developed the concept of associated statehood. Under the Associated Statehood Act on 3 March 1967 Grenada was granted full autonomy over its internal affairs. Herbert Blaise was the first premier of the Associated State of Grenada from March to August 1967. Eric Gary served as premier from August 1967 until February 1974, as the Grenada United Labour Party won majorities in both the 1967 and 1972 general elections. Topic. Independence, Revolution and U.S. Invasion, 1974–1983 Independence On 7 February 1974, Grenada became a fully independent state. Grenada continued to practice a modified Westminster parliamentary system based on the British model with a governor-general appointed by and representing the British monarch head of state and a prime minister who is both leader of the majority party and the head of government. Eric Gary was independent Grenada's first prime minister serving from 1974 until his overthrow in 1979. 
Gary won re-election in Grenada's first general election as an independent state in 1976, however, the opposition New Jewel movement refused to recognize the result, claiming the poll was fraudulent, and so began working towards the overthrow of the Gary regime by revolutionary means. In 1976 St. George's University was established. The 1979 coup and revolutionary government On March 13, 1979, the New Jewel movement launched an armed revolution which removed Gary, suspended the constitution, and established a People's Revolutionary Government PRG, headed by Maurice Bishop who declared himself Prime Minister. His Marxist-Leninist government established close ties with Cuba, Nicaragua, and other communist communist bloc countries. All political parties except for the New Jewel movement were banned and no elections were held during the four years of PRG rule. The 1983 coups On 14 October 1983, a power struggle within the government resulted in the House arrest of Bishop at the order of his deputy prime minister, Bernard Cord who became head of government. This coup resulted in demonstrations in various parts of the island which eventually led to Bishop being freed from arrest briefly, before being recaptured by the army and executed along with seven others, including members of the cabinet on 19 October 1983. On 19 October 1983, the military under Hudson Austin took power in a second coup and formed a military government to run the country. A four-day total curfew was declared under which any civilian outside their home was subject to summary execution. Topic. Invasion A U.S. Caribbean force invaded Grenada on October 25, 1983, in an action called Operation Urgent Fury, and swiftly defeated the Grenadian forces and their Cuban allies. During the fighting 45 Grenadians, 25 Cubans, and 19 Americans were killed. This action was taken in response to an appeal obtained from the Governor General and to a request for assistance from the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States, without consulting the island's head of state, Queen Elizabeth II, Commonwealth institutions or other usual diplomatic channels as had been done in Anguilla. Furthermore, United States government military strategists feared that Soviet use of the island would enable the Soviet Union to project tactical power over the entire Caribbean region. U.S. citizens were evacuated, and constitutional government was resumed. Seventeen members of the PRG and the PRA were convicted by a court. Fourteen were sentenced to death for actions related to the overthrow of the Bishop government and the murder of several people including Maurice Bishop. The sentences were eventually commuted to life imprisonment after an international campaign. Another three were sentenced to 45 years in prison. These 17 have become known as the Granada 17, and are the subject of an ongoing international campaign for their release. In October 2003 Amnesty International issued a report which stated that their trial had been a miscarriage of justice. The 17 have protested their sentences consistently since 1983. The United States gave $48.4 million in economic assistance to Grenada in 1984. Topic. Democracy restored, 1983 to present day Post-liberation politics When U.S. troops withdrew from Grenada in December 1983, Nicholas Braithwaite was appointed Prime Minister of an interim administration by the Governor-General Sir Paul Schoon until elections could be organized. On 28 October 1984, the new Point Salines International Airport was opened, which enabled Grenada to receive large commercial jets for the first time. The first democratic elections since 1976 were held in December 1984 and were won by the Grenada National Party under Herbert Blaise who won 14 out of 15 seats in elections and served as Prime Minister until his death in December 1989. The NNP continued in power until 1989 but with a reduced majority. Five NNP parliamentary members, including two cabinet ministers, left the party in 1986–87 and formed the National Democratic Congress NDC, which became the official opposition. In August 1989, Prime Minister Blaise broke with the GNP to form another new party, the National Party TNP, from the ranks of the NNP. 
This split in the NNP resulted in the formation of a minority government until constitutionally scheduled elections in March 1990. Prime Minister Blaise died in December 1989 and was succeeded as Prime Minister by Ben Jones until after the 1990 elections. The National Democratic Congress emerged from the 1990 elections as the strongest party, winning seven of the 15 available seats. Nicholas Brathwaite added two TNP members and one member of the Grenada United Labour Party to create a 10-seat majority coalition. The Governor-General appointed him to be Prime Minister for a second time. Braithwaite resigned in February 1995 and was succeeded as Prime Minister by George Brizan who served until the June 1995 election. In parliamentary elections on 20 June 1995, the NNP won eight of the 15 seats and formed a government headed by Keith Mitchell. The NNP maintained and affirmed its hold on power when it took all 15 parliamentary seats in the January 1999 elections. Mitchell went on to win the 2003 elections with a reduced majority of eight of the 15 seats and served as Prime Minister for a record 13 years until his defeat in 2008. The 2001 census showed that the population of Grenada was 100,895. The 2008 election was won by the National Democratic Congress under Tillman Thomas with 11 of the 15 seats. In 2009, Point Salines International Airport was renamed Maurice Bishop International Airport in tribute to the former Prime Minister. Topic: <laughs> Truth and Reconciliation Commission. In 2000–02, much of the controversy of the late 1970s and early 1980s was once again brought into the public consciousness with the opening of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. The commission was chaired by a Catholic priest, Father Mark Haynes, and was tasked with uncovering injustices arising from the PRA, Bishop's regime, and before. It held a number of hearings around the country. The commission was formed because of a school project. Brother Robert Fanovich, head of Presentation Brothers College PBC in St. George's tasked some of his senior students with conducting a research project into the era and specifically into the fact that Maurice Bishop's body was never discovered. Their project attracted a great deal of attention, including from the Miami Herald and the final report was published in a book written by the boys called Big Sky, Little Bullet. It also uncovered that there was still a lot of resentment in Grenadian society resulting from the era, and a feeling that there were many injustices still unaddressed. The commission began shortly after the boys concluded their project. Hurricane Ivan On September 7, 2004, Grenada was hit directly by Category 4 Hurricane Ivan. The hurricane destroyed about 85% of the structures on the island, including the prison and the Prime Minister's residence, killed 39 people, and destroyed most of the nutmeg crop, Grenada's economic mainstay. Grenada's economy was set back several years by Hurricane Ivan's impact. Hurricane Emily ravaged the island's north end in June 2005. See also References Topic. Further reading Grenade, Wendy C. Ed. The Grenada Revolution, Reflections and Lessons University Press of Mississippi, 2015 320 pages, Dollar Political History of the 1970s and 1980s Kurlansky, Mark, 1992. A Continent of Islands, Searching for the Caribbean Destiny. Addison Wesley Publishing. ISBN 0-201-52396-5. Steele, Beverly A. 2003. Grenada. A History of Its People. Macmillan. ISBN 0-201-52396-5. Puri, Shalini, The Grenada Revolution in the Caribbean Present, Operation Urgent Memory Palgrave Macmillan U.S. 2014 doi. 10. 1057 Topic. External links Background note, Grenada History of the invasion of Grenada from the Dean Peter Krogh Foreign Affairs Digital Archives